Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing the third look with the Norvina palette and I kind of went more with the browns, but I needed to try to use the rose, rose gold. So in this look, I started with some incense on the transition. I darkened it up with some eccentric. Then I took the color passion kind of brought it almost halfway in to give it a little bit of a darker look. I then took Volatile over the outside corner. Going back with Passion, that's what I took and went right up underneath the eye, which was nice. The Rose Gold, I've been dying to use it, just hadn't got around to it. So I used the Rose Gold into right about here on the eye. And then on the inner eye, I use Dreamer. So the Dreamer kind of goes into the rose gold. So overall, I think the, the look came out very pretty. It's a little bit smoky, which is fine with me, as you know. The rest of my makeup, I do have at the end of the video or towards the end of the video, letting you know what other colors I used in case that's helpful for you. But Overall, I've really enjoyed using the Norvina palette, creating three different looks with pinks, then purples, and now the neutral colors. I think it it really does a great job. The only thing I would have done different on the purple look was include some false eyelashes because I think the false eyelashes just absolutely wake up any eye look and they're just so much fun. That's it in a nutshell. False eyelashes are a blast. They just make your eye look pop. So it's like putting curtains on a window. Anyhow, um, I do like the Snorvina palette. I have already gone into several uh, tips and tricks on how to bring down the fallout. Um, some things that I've I've done to kind of prolong the use of the Norvina palette. So if you want to see any of the tips and tricks, check out my other two Nor Norvina palette looks and there are some tips and tricks out there that might be able to help you. And it is just a fun palette. I really, really have liked using this one. Um, the Soft Glam palette was one of my favorites and now the Norvina one is one of my favorites. And I, ha I can't say that the previous palettes I ever bought from Anastasia Beverly Hills were my favorites. I mean, even I know the Renaissance palette was you know, a lot of people's favorite. I, I was like, eh. I mean, it was fun to use, but I wasn't gaga over it like the rest of the beauty community. But I will say the last two palettes that have come out, I've really, really liked them. So anyways, I hope this helps you with your purchasing power. And um, having the three different looks gives you some ideas to play with if whether you have the Norvina palette or you have other colors that are similar to it. So anyways, um, just wanted to give you some thoughts, some tips and tricks, and I'm hoping that um, you are getting ready to enjoy this video. Today I'm going to create a third look using the Norvina palette, and I'm going to go with more of the brown tones. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to start out with some incense. Next we're going to go in with eccentric. I'm going to pick up this color here called Passion. I'm going to stop for a moment and carve out a bit of a crease. I use the Beauty Bakery Pancake Ice Cream for that. I'm going to squirt my brush with some primer spray. And I want to pick up the color Rose Gold. Then on the inside of the lid, I'm going to pick up some of this Dreamer. And that is such a pretty color. Using that same fluffy brush, I'm going to pick up Passion. Moving to the color Volatile. I'm 
what I want to do now is add the Hangover 3-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. And so I want to set my eyes along with my T-Zone. So while that's drying, I'm going to pick up the color Al Alkaline by... It's the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay. And that's going to go on my inner waterline. I'm picking up the Ink Blacklist Gel Eyeliner from Pretty Vulgar. We're going to add some false eyelashes today. Anytime I do darker looks, I like bigger eyelashes, but I like darker looks all the time too. So, While the top eyelashes are setting up and drying, I'm going to go ahead and work on my lower lashes with some scuba. It's water resistant mascara in hopes that I don't transfer anything throughout the sweaty day. Not that us women sweat, we may glisten. Do y'all have a favorite waterproof or water resistant mascara? I'm always looking for a good one. That's the last one I bought, but um, I am interested in trying others. So if you've got any suggestions, put those below. All right, I'm going to use the tardiest lash paint mascara. Since I'm using false eyelashes, I'm not as worried about how thick my mascara is going to be or lengthening because all I'm going to do is color my ma my lashes into the false lashes with whichever mascara. And so I can kind of save my best mascara for when I'm not using false lashes. And again, sometimes I do use it just because I want the false eyelashes to be even more off the hook. Technical term, off the hook. Okay, I just love how false eyelashes like totally wake up the eye and make it look ginormous. I'm going to tilt my head back and sweep up any color that may have gotten in or a little out of where I want it. So that's an easy cleanup way. Um, as far as my lips go, I'm using the Manny Daddy, the Manny and Jeffree Star collab called Daddy. I just love how this color is and works with the eye look. For blush, I used the Beauty and the Beast palette. Uh, I used the color Enchanted and my highlighter is the color Fearless. So that's what's on my cheeks. Tarte Shape Tape is my concealer. Becca's Ultimate Coverage is my foundation. And I did use the Fit Me Powder from Maybelline. So that should catch you up on everything that I didn't film. But overall, I think this this third look is really pretty from the Anastasia palette. So I'm I'm pleasantly surprised with the Norvina palette. I you know my eye was on a lot of those colors, and so this palette has not disappointed whatsoever. I just love the color schemes. So, anyways, um, I hope you liked this third look, and that gives you an idea on how you can use the palette in three different ways. So, anyways, I hope you have a great one. Until next time.